Welcome to today's lecture on the heart structure and function. I'm your professor and I'll guide you through the fascinating world of cardiac anatomy, the heart's location and layers. The heart is situated in the thoracic cavity surrounded by the pericardium, a protective sac with two layers, the fibrous pericardium and the serous pericardium. The heart itself has three layers, the epicardium, myocardium and endocardium. Epicardium, the outermost layer attached to the heart muscle. Myocardium, the thick muscular layer responsible for pumping blood. Endocardium, the innermost layer lining the heart's chambers and valves. Surface features. The heart's surface has several notable features. Oracles, extensions near the top of the heart, also known as atrial appendages. Sulci, grooves on the heart's surface, including the anterior and posterior interventricular sulci. Coronary sulcus, a groove that divides the atria and ventricles. Chambers and valves. The heart has four chambers. Right atrium, receives deoxygenated blood from the body. Right ventricle, pumps blood to the lungs. And left atrium, receives oxygenated blood from the lungs. Left ventricle, pumps blood to the rest of the body. The heart has four valves. Tricuspid valve, between the right atrium and ventricle. Pulmonic valve, between the right ventricle and pulmonary artery. Mitral valve, between the left atrium and ventricle. Aortic valve, between the left ventricle and aorta. A blood flow. Blood flows through the heart in the following sequence. One deoxygenated blood enters the right atrium. Two blood flows through the tricuspid valve into the right ventricle. Three blood is pumped through the pulmonic valve to the lungs. Four oxygenated blood returns to the left atrium. Five blood flows through the mitral valve into the left ventricle. Six blood is pumped through the aortic valve to the rest of the body. Electrical system. The heart's electrical system regulates its contractions, ensuring a steady beat. The interventricular septum houses the major electrical pathways. Now let's visualize the heart's amazing structure and function. That's it for today's lecture. I hope you enjoyed exploring the heart's fascinating world.